We now learn how to draw a line given its line equation. And we're going to learn how to do that by drawing the line with the equation y equals to 2x minus 6. Before doing that though, let me just say a couple of things. Here we can see we have a line on an xy grid. To draw a line, all we need are two points through which the line passes. Then we simply need to place a ruler on those two points to draw the line. Nevertheless, there are two points that we should always get right. And those are the following. The point at which the line cuts the y-axis, which is known as the y-intercept, as well as the point at which the line cuts the x-axis, and that's known as the x-intercept. So the method we're going to learn to draw a line consists of finding the y-intercept as well as the x-intercept. There are a couple of reasons why these two points are the two points you want to make sure to get right. First of all, in a math quiz or an exam, any math teacher or examiner is more than likely to check that these two points are correct. Indeed, as a math teacher, I'll never go and check whether or not this point was plotted correctly. No, the two points I'll look at to make sure that it's the correct line are the y-intercept and the x-intercept. Furthermore, we'll soon learn that these two points have a lot of meaning when doing mathematical modeling with lines, but we'll learn about that later. Now that that's said, let's go ahead and learn the method. Say we need to draw the line with the equation y equals to 2x minus 6. Well, as I said, to draw a line, all we need are two points through which the line passes. And we choose to find the x-intercept as well as the y-intercept. Now, luckily for us, the y-intercept can be found just by looking at the line equation. In fact, the y-value at which the line cuts the y-axis is this number here that negative 6. It's the only term without an x in the line equation. And so using this negative 6 here, we can go ahead and state that the line must pass through the point 0, negative 6. Just to make that clear, I'm getting this negative 6 here just by reading the line equation, and the x-coordinate of the y-intercept will always be 0. Now that we have the y-intercept, we need to find the x-intercept. And to find the x-intercept, we copy this line equation, this y equals to 2x minus 6, but we replace y by 0 and we solve for x. So copying this line equation replacing y by 0 would look something like this. 0 equals to 2x minus 6. And now we solve this equation for x. So, adding 6 to each side of this equation, we find 6 equals to 2x, and we now divide both sides of the equation by 2. That's 6 over 2 equals to x. Now, 6 divided by 2 is 3, so 3 equals to x. In other words, x equals to 3. And this x equals to 3 is the value of x at which the line cuts the x-axis. And this allows us to state that the line also passes through the point 3, 0. And those are the coordinates of the x-intercept. To make things clear, I'm getting this 3 from the result we just obtained. And the y-coordinate of the x-intercept will always equal to 0. Now that we have both the y-intercept and the x-intercept, we can go ahead and draw the line. Let me just throw in some graph paper here. Okay, I've got my graph paper, and I'll quickly draw an xy grid. Now that we have our grid ready, we can go ahead and plot the points. So I'll start with the y-intercept, that's the point with coordinate 0, negative 6, and the fact that x is 0 tells us that we're on the y-axis, and the y-value is negative 6. So, starting from 0, we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 downwards, and I'll just add that point. Now I plot the x-intercept, that's the point with coordinates 3, 0, and the fact that the y-coordinate is 0 tells me that we're on the x-axis. 
Starting from zero, we go three units across on the x-axis. That's one, two, three. So I add that point as well. We now have both points plotted on the xy grid, and now all we need to do is, with a ruler, draw the line that passes through these two points. And doing so would look something like this. There we go. And in fact, I'll label that line y equals to 2x minus 6. And that's how we can draw a line given its equation.